Let's begin with President Park's first major cabinet reshuffle since taking office early last year. Following a series of failed personnel nominations, President Park Geun-hye has announced the appointment of six new cabinet members. This, of course, with a long list of state affairs hanging in the balance. Our Chiu-sun reports that the president is determined to move forward in running the nation and seeking greater cooperation with the National Assembly. President Park Geun-hye has appointed five of her cabinet nominees who were confirmed by parliament last week. Her spokesperson said the president appointed Choi Kyung-hwan as the new finance minister and deputy prime minister and Lee Byung-gi as the head of the National Intelligence Service on Tuesday. She also appointed Choi Yang-hee, Lee Ki-gwan and Kim Mi-jung as the ministers of science, labor and gender equality respectively. And despite the parliament's disapproval, President Park went ahead and appointed Jung Jong-sub as the new security minister. The president, who retained the current prime minister after her two previous nominees stepped aside and who withdrew her nomination for education minister Tuesday, cannot afford further delays in handing over state affairs to a new cabinet. After dropping education minister-designate Kim Myung-soo, who was grilled by parliament over allegations of thesis plagiarism, President Park quickly nominated Hwang Woo-ya, her political aide and a prominent figure within the ruling party. Huang is close to the president and if confirmed by the National Assembly, he would join new finance minister Choi Kyung-hwan as the president's two deputy prime ministers, a move likely intended to expand cooperation with the parliament. Meeting with the ruling and opposition party's leadership in recent days, President Park sought the parliament's cooperation on a series of bills to revitalize the economy and others to reform the government and public sector in the aftermath of April's ferry tragedy. Meanwhile, Culture Minister nominee Jung Sung-gun, who was not confirmed by the National Assembly, dropped his bid Wednesday morning. Choi Yoo-sun, Arirang News.